And tonight calls for an investigation after the mother of one of the Uvalde victims violently shoved by a DPS trooper at a Uvalde school district elementary school. Now, this happened as students across the country took part in a national school walkout. Students in Uvalde also joined in. They left their classes to demand changes to gun laws. The night team's Lee Waldman was there as students said, enough is enough. This is the moment Ana Rodriguez was pushed out of Flores Elementary as she went to check her son out of school. She tells me before this video, she had gone inside and yelled for her son to walk out. Rodriguez says she was forced out when he wasn't allowed out of the auditorium. That's when she went back, banged on the door and showed her ID to check him out. Son, if she can do that quietly, then let her go. Anna, the mother of 10-year-old Maite Rodriguez, who was killed last May, now has bruises on her arm, but eventually she was able to get her son out of school. Your daughter's murdered on school grounds. Then you talk to me, sir. Before this video, we saw several parents doing the same as Anna, checking their kids out of school to participate in the national school walkout. The district sent a notice to parents warning about the walkout and stating, quote, the students may gather in the courtyard or in the gyms depending on weather conditions and principal discretion, noting students wouldn't be allowed off school grounds. Students from across the district left their campuses anyway, marching to the downtown plaza and calling for change. This shouldn't be something we have to worry about when we get out, when we're walking around, when we go to school. This shouldn't be something we have to worry about. Many parents and siblings of the 21 victims stood with the students today, helping them to organize. This is a picture of real flamingos. Playing the voices of some of their loved ones as the students sat in the plaza for 77 minutes. The same amount of time it took for law enforcement to stop the shooter at Rob. Jackson Cross, family to victim Usaya Garcia, says he was proud to be with the students who marched. He says now it's on lawmakers to stop the next school shooting. You gotta raise the age to 21. Honestly, I don't think assault weapons or like uh, anything should be even allowed to be in the public. And Lee Waldman. KSAT 12 News. State Senator Roland Gutierrez called on DPS to open an investigation into the trooper that was recorded forcing Ana Rodriguez out of Flores Elementary. Now, we also sent a request to DPS, but at this point, we have not yet received a response. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.